So I got an old relay, 12 volt relay. It's actually not that old, it's about a year old. Um, 40 amps, 12 volts. What happened is I was tightening the nut down on this stud, this copper stud. And then the stud started turning. And I was curious if this is ruined, I assume it is. And since it's probably ruined, I was gonna open it up. So you can see that it's cracked. So let's see what's inside of it. So that was easy enough. Basically, use the wire cutter part of these to get in underneath this flange. That flange was raised. You can see on the other side it was lower, but on this one, it was basically sitting up because taking off the nut originally, since I had tightened it down too hard, uh, it had caused it to twist. And then in the process of getting it out, it came up. But Truthfully, this looks like it was probably crimped in, judging by those little narrow parts, but that might just be for the plastic to grab it. It's kind of strange because it doesn't really look like much is going on. It looks as though there's a little socket down there. But it, and it almost, like it just snapped in. But the plastic seems to hold it in place. But the electrical connection might just be like a little spring-loaded socket. I'm going to go ahead and... Try to get this plastic part off. These aren't that expensive. Um, let's see if we can get some light. So, as you can see, it's kind of cruddy in there. Um, plastic pieces so okay so that's interesting so this is literally just a pop metal case Um, it looks as though this sits in there, because it should have been sitting about like that, and that makes contact with this, and I assume because this, this from what I, this should be the Hmm. I'm trying to remember whether that's the load end or not. I'm not sure if it actually had a labeled load end. And I'm sure somebody has a better idea of how these work than I do. Uh, it looks like this is just spring loaded against it. And probably when this gets hot enough, it pinks. I'm not sure if I want to test it out of the out of its natural state. Because my guess is once this sheet gets hot enough it deforms and loses contact. So I would say that this 
probably should be the load end. That way, I don't know if it can touch anything inside this box, but that's interesting. So the only thing holding this in place was the plastic into these knurls. Now I see why they're so relatively cheap. I should probably buy a sealed one. This was under the hood of my car. But I really want to see what happens to it when it gets too hot. As you can see, it's relatively flat-ish. This burner was on. I need to turn it back on. It's still pretty warm. You'll see, once it gets up to a certain temperature, it tips down. Then it'll spring back up. Oh, and it's hot. So it's tipped down, and then it pops up. So this, this obviously goes in there, and that's just a case. The case really doesn't matter other than mounting, and then. This copper lug goes in there and holds contact. And then once it heats up, the copper lug stays in place. And then this piece, as we saw earlier, will ping away. So it'll ping away, I don't know, 16th of an inch just enough to break the circuit but that's pretty simple it's probably fairly reliable until this contact um, gets worn out um, but it does take some heat to do that because I've tested this and maybe that's why this failed so easily is because it's been hot a couple times and it took about 70 amps for like 25 seconds to blow it but if you did like a dead short it would blow it right away pretty much because it's, it's a thermal this is basically just like a fuse that pops back and it's a circuit breaker uh, self-resetting pretty cool pretty simple